Hi, my name's Karina from Karina's Designs. Um, today we're looking at my memory software and how to add a, your photos to a quick page. Now, um, I've got the program open already. What we're going to do is go um, File, New Album, uh, click Design. We're going to do 12 inch square. And um, for a quick page, you have them already loaded when you've purchased them um, as an embellishment in your My Memory software. And if you've already purchased or got quick pages from somewhere else, you'd also add them as an embellishment. So we go to our embellishment, add. <clears throat> um, I'm in uh, what my purchased under everyday, and I've got some quick pages in under that. So. Wherever you have your quick pages um, loaded, that's where you would go. Uh, we're going to go to my Remember Love Quick Page 9. So click on it and add it. And then close. And it's added it. Now that's running quite slowly because I'm in the middle of re screen recording, so um, my computer is running a bit slower, but for you it will be much faster. So there's a quick page ready to go. Um, we go into Photos, Add, and um, I've already got my folder selected where my photos are. Um, I'm going to go with, say, this one. You click your photo that you wish to add. Open it and it adds it. Now, with this, um, I'm going to change the opacity in this area here on the right. Drop my opacity of my picture down so I can see where it's going to line up on my quick page. And for this one, it's actually worked out quite well. But if it wasn't quite lined up where you'd want it, you would um, move it around and adjust it. And you might need to make it um, smaller or bigger or whatever the case may be. Okay. In this case, we might make it a little bit bigger. Once you're happy where it's lining up where the opening is on the quick page for your photo, then you can put your opacity back up to normal. And then on the left, uh, under Layers, uh, you've got... Um, this is your embellishments. Once you've been into your embellishment folder, it'll add it in here. Um, Go to your layers and then just click on the, on your photo and then drag it down below. And there you have it. Your quick page is ready to, to save and print. It's as easy as that. If you wanted to add another page, just add a page, add a blank page. And this time we can go to our embellishment folder on this side. You can do it from this side on the right, but once we've been into the folder where your quick pages are, you can just grab it from there. Uh, we might go with Karina's Victoria quick page 3 this time, and you can just drag it in. Okay, so once again, because I'm running the recording program, it's running quite slowly. We just line it up so it fits on the page correctly. And then you would go to your um, photos, add a photo, uh, we might go with uh, this one, open, okay this one needs rotating so you can either um, rotate it by grabbing these handles or you can come to here and rotate it. And in this case, we might want to go on that angle, bring it to your placement, go to your layers. The placement looks pretty good, I think. Just drop the opacity down and have a look just to check. Yep, that will do me. And then pull and drag it down. Add another photo. Um, this one. Drag it 
drag your photo to where you want it on the page and I think that's good positioning drag it down below and there you are once you've completed you can then go and add your uh, text if you want or um, your journaling, add in your dates and um, a story about what you've done on your page and then you're ready to save and that's as simple as that quick pages are great fun, easy to do already pre-designed and quick and easy I hope you've enjoyed this tutorial brought to you by Karina's Designs using My Memory software. Um, don't forget that if you do want to purchase the software to use my coupon code, you'll find it on the tutorial link um, to save yourself some money. Thank you. Bye.